In this video, I'll be going over my mid-month interim report for April 2024 with Amazon KDP, YouTube, and Etsy. So first, let's go over any ads. I actually did not run any ads for either of the income streams. Currently, this is my Amazon ads dashboard and I have not run any so far. I'm not sure when or if I'll run them again. I really just don't have the time or money to deep dive into ads right now that I need. I feel like when running ads, I need to be paying attention to them every day and adjusting as needed, and I have a lot more to learn. So um, that's why I'm not running them right now. I have run ads before. Some have been successful, some have not. Most recently, I feel like they were pretty successful. I have a decent ATOS, in my opinion, 10.92% average and 14.93% average. Again, it's just having the time and money to run ads. So that's why I'm not currently running them. Moving on to my orders for Amazon KDP. This is for April 1st through 15th, 2024. I currently have 270 books and I did recently just publish another book like prior to this video, I already mentioned this in another video, so I'm talking about that same book. Um, it has not sold any copies yet, but that's okay. Also kind of just a good reminder or tip in a way is that not every book you publish might sell, and it's okay if it doesn't, just learn from it. So it may take a while for this book to sell. Sometimes I have books that haven't sold in months or even over a year, and then they finally do. Um, it can take different times for a book to have traction. So I'm really hoping this one sells. I think I have a great niche and I'm confident that the book is pretty good quality, at least for what I typically create in my opinion. So I'm hoping it will sell, but so far it has not. So anyways, looking at the line chart here and then the bar chart, I like looking at the bar chart better usually for some reason, just is an easier visual for me and I have 73 units ordered the highest day so far being April 4th with 11 and then the lowest being it looks like two orders and there's a few days at two orders and I'll go over which books have sold so far and more of that information in my royalties but first I want to thank the sponsor for this video which is Everbee so Everbee is an extension tool for Etsy and I highly recommend looking into them and potentially using them if this is something that you're interested in. So they have many different features, but a few of them is this feature right here. So if I type in any sort of keyword or anything like that, Everbee will bring up how many monthly searches. And if there is nothing, then I'm assuming, I, I could be wrong, but most likely it might not really be searched that well um, or might just need to load. So if I just type that in, as itself then it does load here so keep that in mind that if you don't see one you may need to type it in on its own or it might just not be something that searched so if I just type in a bunch of random letters yeah like nothing's gonna come up for that so that made sense and then if I type in digital paper again then the extension will load all the different monthly things so moving on over to um, a different tool here I could type in Let's see, we could do something else. I could do, um, let's see, like scrap of paper or let's do craft paper. I'll just do something like that and just to show the extension working again. So that's really cool. And the see more will actually give you a lot more data and analytics as well. So there's product analytics, keyword research, you have favorites, and then my listings, Etsy calculator, every email, and they have a bunch of videos we can learn too. Um, let's also go over the calculator really quick. They have so many different features with their program. So I highly recommend looking into everything they have to offer and seeing if that's something that you'd like to do. I have a link in the description below. So this calculator is probably one of my favorite tools that they have. I do like uh, multiple tools and things that they have to help, but this one, for some reason, I'm just, I really love working with numbers and analytics. So this just is one of my favorites. And you can add like what discounts you have, what percentages, and you can see your actual profit and things like that. You can go over the cost of the item. So if it costs me like $2 to make it and I offer a 10% discount, I actually lose money. So I don't want to do that. Um, I could offer like a 5% discount and then I would only be making 12 cents. So, you know, you, you got to just do the math and find what works best for you. I do see people in some of the... Etsy groups. I'm in a few Etsy groups, I believe, or at least one of them. 
Um, and they comment saying that, you know, they made their first sales, but they actually lost money because they didn't do the numbers correctly. So this can definitely help, in my opinion, figure out what number or what pricing to do for your book or product, whichever you're trying to sell. And also looking at your competitors is something else that I recommend in trying to analyze how much time you spend on creating the product or service or whatever you're trying to sell and what your competitors are pricing at to make sure that the profit is going to be worth it. So I highly recommend checking out Everbee and I'll have a link in the description below in case you want to go ahead and check them out. So moving on over to my royalties for Amazon KDP, $172.53. This is about on par, I feel like, for what I've been making. And I typically make at least $300 a month. I'm not sure if I'm going to get there this month. We'll see. I've been getting some low 300 months, which I'm not complaining at all. I'm very, very grateful, um, especially because this is basically passive income. I'm not really working on this or really doing anything not running ads and I created one book since August 2023 so far I really want to create more but as I always feel like I preach in my videos I am really struggling with finding the time to manage everything I mean this YouTube video I'm creating later than typical and I'm not being as active as I would like to and I apologize it apparently wants my computer to update um, but that's okay. So my highest day so far is the 4th, which made sense since I did have 11 books ordered that day, I believe. And that day, I think it was $27.80, which is really cool. And then um, the lowest days so far, around 4 or $5, it looks like. Pretty typical for my channel or for my Amazon KDP business, I mean. And then the books that have sold so far... So all of them, except for three, have all been scrapbook paper and craft paper pad, and three of them have all been notebooks, and I'm actually, like, really surprised and excited about it because some of these notebooks I don't think have ever sold, or if they have, it's not many, and it's just surprising. I typically don't sell notebooks that much, so I'm not sure why they sold, but I'm not going to complain about it. I'm very happy about it, and it's just really exciting. So moving over to my YouTube analytics, I currently have 7.2k views, 303.9 watch time hours, 105 subscribers added, and $69.69. So I've only published one video so far for April. I know, that's really bad. I'm sorry. Um, I just, again, I'm really short on them with the whole time management with everything going on between work, like my full-time job, this type of work, my side businesses, which I would love to do full time, but I need to be making more income for that for sure. Unfortunately, I cannot pay my bills off of four or five hundred ish a month, or sometimes it varies. I have made a thousand dollars a month online before, but still, I need consistent income of probably around three grand at least at this point as my bills have increased. And then my revenue. My highest day is $10.42 on April 8th so far, and my lowest is April 7th, no, April 1st at $2.02. And I am thrilled with this because for one video, a lot of this is passive income as well at this point. So moving over to revenue, just to give you some more insight. Um, my highest video is my income report, which typically is this video is currently at 2.5k views about, I think, which is pretty cool. Usually these videos do get over a thousand views, but not always over 2k. So I'm pretty happy about that. Next is a realistic first year of Amazon KDP. I think that video is at like 19,000 right now for views or something. Really happy about that. Um, I definitely would love to do a second year Amazon KDP video to kind of piggyback or bounce off of that video and just it would just be cool, I think, to do yearly videos if I can do that. And then resize Amazon KDP cover, how to start KDP in 2023 for free, which I should definitely do a 2024 one, although it's already April. So I don't know. And then how to create notebook covers using Canva and Amazon KDP free templates included. So it's cool. There's more videos and things that I've made uh, revenue off of like down here. I have one membership. So thank you so much to that member. I'd greatly appreciate it. It really does help and everything adds up. Like it's just, it's 
really amazing to be able to make money off of social media. And I don't say that to brag or anything. It's taking me a while to actually make a profit with social media. Um, but it's definitely possible. So if you're trying out there, just keep going and keep it up. And then shorts, five cents. And then probably YouTube premium is probably a few dollars. And then I typically make at least $100 a month on YouTube now. I was making over $200 a month and I wish I could get back up there. But I need to be creating videos more and I just, it's really just my fault. So it's okay. Um, it's hard to manage it all just being realistic here. And then revenue is, the or the RPM is $11.57. And looking at shorts, RPM is 0. 0.5 cents. And live is $125 RPM. Wow, that's amazing. Maybe I should do a live. My lives, I've only done one live so far and it didn't really get many views. But if the RPM is that high... It's probably just for that video, but I would definitely consider doing lives again. I'm just not sure what I would go over, but that's okay. So right now for April, I'm pretty much on par um, for what I've been doing recently, and I'm happy with that since I've only done one video, and I, I definitely want to get posted more, but we'll see. I'm trying here. And then moving over to Etsy, um, I have screenshots of my current Etsy analytics and at the bottom I have, they actually have a new comparison tool. You can compare your year prior, which is pretty cool. So I didn't know about that and this might be old news. Um, it could have been there for a while and it's not actually new and I just never noticed it, but I want to share because I think it's cool. So for visits, I got 14 visits and for Etsy, I have five listings right now, all digital paper downloads, passive income. I don't have to do anything. I haven't done anything since I uploaded them. No ads or anything. No ads on my YouTube channel and no ads on Amazon KDP. So a lot of this is passive to a point where I did the work up front, but now I don't really do much, um, which I definitely should do more because I could be growing my income. But anyways, 14 visits, which I'm happy about. I mean, I'm happy if I make anything off of Etsy, really. Um, one order on April 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. So it's like April 4th pretty happy about that. And I love how it says my visits increased 75% compared to the same period last year. I think that's cool. And I don't remember seeing that before. And then looking at the conversion rate, let me just make this bigger here. 7.1% because I just have the one, the one sale. And it looks like that day I got one view, but, or one visit by 14 visits total. And then scrolling all the way down to revenue. So this isn't my profit. Um, I don't actually know my exact profit because sometimes you make less depending on where the visit or sale came from. Like there's, I don't know, I don't really get all of the Etsy things, I guess. But I know that Etsy has other ways of advertising and sometimes it's more money. Not me advertising or technically paying for it that way. But if they advertise it, your product on like an external website I think or just I'm not sure somewhere else sometimes they charge an extra fee for that and then you do pay for that when it comes out of the revenue if that makes sense um so 2.99 is not my profit my profit I think is around a little over two dollars or sometimes a dollar eighty ish maybe somewhere around that range um but again like I'm, I'm just happy with anything because I have not really put much effort into Etsy yet and I um, have a bunch of free listings so I just keep renewing them with the free ones. I think I have about 50 around 50 or so free listings still and I only have five active listings right now um, or five listings total so they thankfully should last a little while and I'm just happy with anything and then looking at this is the comparison so if you, um, if I go down here, there's a dotted line and that dotted line is the previous year. So I only did it for the visits because the other ones weren't really a huge difference. Not like that this is either, but I just thought it was really cool. So I wanted to share that that seems to be an option now. And if it was an option before, then, um, I just found out about it. So someone else might not know about it either, but I just think that that's really awesome. So overall, I'm pretty happy with how this is going. Um, this is typical for what it's been for the previous few months. And since I'm not really doing that much to improve my businesses, which I that, you know that's not good, I really should be, um, I'm very happy to maintain this right now. And I definitely want to improve them because we have a lot of exciting 
and big things happening right now and we could definitely use some extra income so I'm very very excited about that I should probably do a life update video or something because my husband and I just have so much going on I feel like I need to update you all and try to catch you up to speed here but I really am trying to find a way to balance everything but I hope this was helpful I hope it was inspiring. I'd love to know how your businesses are going for you. And if you have any questions or comments or anything, please feel free to comment them below. And please try to remember to just be respectful and kind. So thank you so much for watching and listening to this video. I hope that you have a great day.